Hello everyone, um, I'm Jack, and for the last three or so years I've been um, working to, to train DevOps engineers, um, for whatever you think that might mean. So talking about tools, culture, processes, all those sorts of things. And that's what I want to talk a little bit about today. Um, so talk about some of the things that we learned, some of the things that we got right, some of the mistakes that we made, um, but particularly talk about kind of how the instincts that you've already got for building quality software are actually really applicable for thinking about your training as well. It was a bit of a surprise to us. We went through our own learning journey um, to sort of rediscover that where we'd started was where we should have sort of ended up. And this really matters to teams. A lot of the teams that we've worked with um, are still firefighting. They're still short-term focused and struggling to kind of turn that into longer-term visions and struggling to work out where they want to go and how they get there. Um, and it also really, really matters to individuals as well. So people want to feel like they're growing in their uh, careers. They want to feel like they're being supported. They want to feel like they're making progress. Quite often in this field, people know the niche they're in right now isn't where they want to be in five years. So we need to kind of support them in that. And the first principle to that effect is understanding our requirements. Just as we do with our software, we need to know what we're actually trying to achieve. So as a business, as a team, what do you actually want out of your training? Very often teams don't know. They're like, oh, we want to be more ahead of the, uh, we want to be ahead of the curve. They don't actually know what that means to them. We also need to understand the individual's aims. So the people on your team will have their own goals, or you yourself will have your own goals. What are those goals? I've worked with engineers who just want to add tools to their belt, or a QA engineer who just wanted to understand enough jargon that they could enter those meetings and not feel swamped. And then once you've got those, you can start to align them. Now, there'll be tensions there. So often we have kind of user needs that are directly contradictory. But once we know what they are, we can start to align those. And if you've ever worked with a stakeholder, you'll know that very often we don't actually know what, we're, it, what we want when we go into this. So prepare to feel a little bit lost. Prepare to feel like you need support at this early stage, both kind of the individuals being trained and whoever's kind of leading that, um, and prepare to kind of give people support. And one of the kind of business aims that I'd really like to encourage people to think about is explicitly making time for kind of exploratory training. So things driven not by your immediate team necessities. Um, now, you're at a conference listening to random speakers. So you're probably a little bit bought into this idea. But it's that space where you kind of discover the solutions to problems you don't actually know you have yet. Um, and it's there that you'll kind of learn new things. And if your team is only learning and teaching about the things you already know about, you'll always do the things you currently do. Now, once we've got that in place, we can start to, to do some training and some learning. And then we need to consider the results of that, monitor what's going on. Now, most of this is going to be qualitative. You know, are people enjoying it? Are they getting value out of it? Are they sharing that knowledge around the team? It doesn't mean it's not worth taking, but it does mean that it's really important you've got that psychological safety, that zero blame culture, because you need to hear if this isn't working. You need to be able to receive honest feedback. So one of the things that we got um, wrong with our, our training at the start was we made stuff too hard. We gave people too much to do, and they really struggled. And we needed them to be able to come to us and look us in the eye and say, no, actually, I can't do this, so that we could start to, to dial that back, take stuff off their plate, give them more space, let them actually do something useful, rather than just kind of completing exercises for the sake of it. So it's really important that we've got that space for people to kind of give honest feedback. And, and that leads really nicely into kind of another theme of, of DevOps and Agile consistently, which is we need to iterate. We need to kind of have a process in place that we can improve the way that we train. Um, and that's kind of easy enough if you've got a pipeline of people going through and you can kind of adjust per cohort. It's a lot harder if you're kind of sat here and you're thinking, well, you know, I'm thinking about myself or I'm thinking about a couple of colleagues, a couple of people I manage. How do we kind of iterate in that space? Just take the, the kind of agile methodology. Take small steps. Break things down. Have a small goal. A couple of weeks even. What am I going to learn? How am I going to apply it? Did it work? And if it doesn't work, don't panic. Just, just iterate. Um, so fundamentally, there's kind of two outcomes there. Listen, understand what you're actually trying to achieve, understand what others are trying to achieve, put a place plan, and then monitor and adjust that plan. And I know there's been a lot of talks today, so if you've kind of zoned out and missed all of this, this is your cheat sheet. Just put some time and effort into training. Kind of studies and education, have, they get quite complicated because almost everything you study works. So if you look at kids at school, right, should we give them more homework? If you do that study, yes, it works, it improves learning outcomes. If you give them less homework, Yes, it works. It improves learning outcomes. If you have a pulse and a plan, and you're prepared to adjust for what, what you see visibly doesn't work, then you will achieve learning outcomes. So put in some time, put in some effort, and you will reap that reward. Thank you very much. If anyone's got any questions or wants to talk, please do find me afterwards. Thank you.